Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. Today we're working on the brakes on the rear and front of the car here. We just got the rear end finished up. We ended that video and we decided let's hop into another video with installing all the stuff from Willwood. So Willwood hooked me up with a ton of stuff. Uh, I talked to him and I was like, I need to know what you guys got that's light, will work well for my car, that will allow me to run a double beadlock on the rear because of the diameter and size of it. That gets specific, which led to needing to change the end on the rear end housing because then you have to be able to run their brackets and their mounts to run the brake that's built off of the big Ford end. One thing led to another, led to another. New rear ends in. Now new brakes are about ready to go on. But we have a bunch of stuff. This is pretty much the front. Here's the rear. We've got new calipers, new hats. This, once we get it open, I'll show you this single disc on the front. Also, we have a new master cylinder. The, the thing's really, really nice looking. The whole kit, so hopefully we got everything we need. I believe we do. Alex is over, he's gonna help me work on getting all this stuff on. We're gonna start here, putting those on, and then we'll work our way up to the front. Everything we started in the last video, putting all this together, got everything painted, and I ordered some new hubs for the front. Everything's nice and fresh. This car had like 150 some thousand miles on it, so it's good, the chassis when I bought it. So now it'll be good to get all new bearings, all new brakes, all new everything on this thing. So we're really, really starting fresh with this new build. We got everything unboxed. Alex and I were actually trying to figure out how in the heck does this work together? We're like, where's the hardware for this? You know, cause we're seeing all these bolt holes. Well, they're not necessarily bolt holes. They're lightened holes. There's a snap ring that goes in there. So we got our hardware out here. We got our instructions here, calipers here, and then brackets for the back with the machine lip. It should go somewhere on there like, so, ish, maybe, hopefully. We might have to pull that axle back out, actually, and then slide it. Maybe. No, because the bearing's gotta go over there. I just gotta, just gotta push it on. I think it matters, we'll get there. It's a little tight. Tight fit. We have Thick a rubber axles. mallet. Yeah, we'll make it fit. <laughs> I think we're good to go. It looks like we got everything I think we need so far, so we're just gonna go ahead and get to installing the first side. I plotted it <laughs> from a mile away. That is not set up for 5.8 studs, so we're gonna take our, uh, handy dandy drill bit to that bill, clean it up, and then we'll be able to slide it right on over the new studs. I uh, know, that's rough, huh? Yeah. Taking nice parts and drilling on it. But that's set up for stock style, like studs, and obviously, you know, if you're gonna upgrade your studs, probably gonna have to drill some things to make it work. So we had to run and grab a drill bit so we could open these up to the correct size. They're even a little tight, but that's, we'd rather have that than weight loose. So now that we got these fit, we can go ahead and assemble everything. All right, so we got the T-bolt on here, lock washer, nut, use the little access hole, and we will torque these bad boys to 74 foot-pounds before you put those on there. Make sure you drop a little bit of red Loctite on there, and it says to torque to factory spec, which is 74 foot-pounds. All right, all right, do not torque that to 74 foot-pounds. I was like, man, that is like what you put lug nuts to. We, the same 3 8 nuts that went on there only got torqued to you know, like 35, so I did some research. It's not the caliper bracket bolts, that's what actually goes to the caliper. It's like the bearing, axle retaining, plate, T-bolts, blah, 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 blah. So 27 to 35 is what I came up for on that. I'm gonna go one round in 25, one round at 35, and we should be good. Alex went ahead and assembled all of this, so what'd you do, you just had to put the- I put the clips inside here. Oh yeah, yeah. On each one. And then I had to put the retaining the clip. Snap rings are super easy, super simple. Not a lot of hardware. Nice. Well, slide this bad boy on there. There it is. That looks pretty good. So this is where you're losing a lot of weight because you're not running a dual caliper. This is for race applications, which mostly race, a little bit of street. Yeah, so this is gonna be really nice. Lightweight, you know, everything pretty much going on here compared to factory. So definitely should help us lose some weight. Oh, look at that, look how nice that spins. That's great. So we got our mounting hardware. We have some shims to start with. So and Alex just read through here and make sure we're, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Hey, you figured it out. <laughs> well, I mean, no, no, when that's, you see yeah. shims, you know, I mean, you figure it's probably not gonna be perfectly centered right off the bat. It so I was like, something. screw it, I might as well read the instructions. Well, all right, all right. We should be good there. But we're gonna start with that, get it mounted on there and see where we're at. Ended up using some of the lug nut spacers to go ahead and tighten this up so everything's nice and tight where it should be. Now we just gotta get us a caliper on. Sets there, got these two bolts, and start with this. All right. So let me put these on here. 
just work it one at a time real quick. I'm just gonna put the spacers on the back side there. Alright, got one bolt on there. Now I'm just gonna get the second bolt set. And then we'll see how it sits in the center of the caliper. Do we need the brake pads or? Uh, no, we're gonna have to eyeball it. We're gonna have to tighten these down first. Make sure everything's Before square. we eyeball it. Show you guys, these are the brake pads and this is what Will would recommended. They said they have quite a few guys doing drag and drive style events with these pads. Everything's working out really well for them. So that's what I needed to. Go ahead and just hand tight the back of the caliper. Alex went ahead and pulled that Allen out. It's got this little spring, it pops out, slides back. You slide your brake pads right in it. And actually super, super easy. Go ahead and see how it lines up with the brake pads. Show you guys on the other side once that clip's pulled back, but otherwise super easy to pop brake pads in and out of this thing. You don't have to remove the calipers and all that stuff. So super nice on that side of things. But the destructions here pull the bolt out of the back once you got everything properly spaced which you guys can see center of caliper center of rotor and then we got to pull those out throw some red lock tight on those and torque them to 40 foot pounds careful the shims will probably fall out when you pull the bolt out one at a time to put red lock tight on it also these have the little hole in them for safety wire i don't have the tool so i'll have to get the tool the safety wire the bolts together. Make sure that they don't back out once they're set. Kind of nice feature. I believe it takes a special tool for that. I've seen it, I've used one before. Uh, you kind of pull on it and it braids the wire. It gives you a diagram and the instructions. You just, I'm gonna guess you need the right tool because I'm sure it did not come with it through what we've seen in the boxes and all that type of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get these torqued down now. And there we go. Double check. That ain't going anywhere. There is one side installed on the rear, looking real good. Now we're just gonna plumb it up at some point, but otherwise, we got three more sides to go, Alex. Yep, three more to go. Alex getting the other side prepped to go on. As you guys can see, there are the cliffs and how they slide down into the hat here. This recess goes to the inside, right? Inside the car. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just like that. So nice. <laughs> Insertion of snap ring. It's gonna be the fun part. We're trying to get this snap ring to sit down. Then after a few little love taps, everything sits down in there. You can see most of the ring is set underneath the recess. And that one's ready to go on the driver's side. Here's the part number for the rear brakes on the car. And here's the front pads that we're running on the brakes, which these all come within the kit. Makes super easy. Just don't get them mixed up because you uh, might have to do some looking up, figure out which pads go on which side. Grabbed one off the floor when I should grab the ones off the table. So, you know, we're figuring out. We're getting it dialed in. Go ahead super easy. You just slip them in. You pull this. First, you pull this pin back and you slip the pad in and then you just kind of push the spring up while you drive the, uh, the pins through the pad. You get one set through and then you work it through the other set. Real easy. One thing that is super nice with this is that you can pull the pads out and swap them out right there. So drag and drive stuff. I mean, we can do a brake pad swap in no time. Cause sometimes, you know, the shoot fails, whatever. You've got to really lay on the brakes, you wear them out. You don't want to go keep making more passes. So it'll be nice not to have to totally tear off the brakes off this thing to put a new set of pads on it. So now that the backs are all done, we're actually going to start working on the fronts. Got everything unboxed, found our hardware is in a box hiding from me. These are a little different. This doesn't use the little snap rings and the uh, springs and clips and stuff. This uses actually a set of bolts. Imagine that. This is specific for a Camaro and is designed to bolt right onto your factory hubs and turn it into drag brakes. So pretty stoked. So pretty much anybody with an F body could run this set of brakes. That, like I was saying, takes a little bit more of a special setup with the different hubs, with the different rear bearing carriers and all that stuff. We're gonna get these ones knocked out and put on the car. We also gotta finish installing the front suspension kind of sort of right there. So we gotta figure that out. These are all torqued to 25 now. We do need a safety wire. It looks like you safety wire about two of them together each time. I don't have safety wire or little safety wire deal. So if you're gonna put this together, make sure you pick that up before you do all this. We still are probably gonna install everything on the car. Worst case, we either turn everything and install it right here or peel it back off, just the rotor and the hat and then put safety wire on it. But it will get safety wire. Just don't have it and don't want it to stop us right now. So we're gonna keep going. We got the new upper arms and lower arms. We left everything loose down here. We'll probably put everything in the center or close to where it was originally. And then we'll obviously have to go get an alignment. But we got this thing going on now. Alex is just using some lug nuts to help hold it straight there. So then we can get the new mounts on. Figuring out all the spacers. You actually put two on these and then they slide up through the holes right there on the caliper. And that's how you, uh, you attach it. So after looking at things, 
pretty sure this is not supposed to go on first because it'd be, it'd be super hard to get that bolt right there that Alex has taken out uh, on with the rotor in place. So pretty sure you put all that on, then slide the caliper onto this, then tighten it down. If not, I mean, maybe we're doing it wrong, but based on the instructions and the way we're seeing it, that's probably the right way to do it. We'll update you guys here in a minute. All right, so we knocked everything up. We just already pulled it back apart. Put some red Loctite on this unit. Still have the shims in there that they recommend. Everything's lining up just like how they said. Put this in there, torque it down. These are the ones that go to like, I don't know, hold on, let me, I don't want to misquote you on this. They're the ones that go to 65 foot pounds. So those are the caliper bolts that, you know, factory style would hold the caliper on there. And just use this little adapter deal. Everything's thin, all built aluminum, super nice, super light, just the way we like it. So we can drop as much weight as possible off of this thing. And the nuts on the back go to 30 foot pounds. Right, two clicks for the win. Dang, does that look pretty good. All the white body, the black suspension. And the new black hats with the Willwood helpers looks pretty freaking clean. So now we just gotta pop some brake pads in this thing and the one front will be done, one more to go. And driver's side is all done. Looking great. Nice and smooth. No rub-a-dub-dubs. I'm not exactly sure how much weight it saves per corner, but I think it's like 12, maybe 15 pounds each. So that could be probably a total of somewhere around 60 pounds off the car. Uh, compared to the factory calipers and big rotors and all that stuff. So huge difference, 12, 15 pounds. I mean, even even if it's 10, a corner, you're still saving 40 pounds off the car with this type of a brake upgrade. Much better brakes for drag racing and stuff anyway. So a uh, huge shout out to Will Wood for helping me get the right brakes set up for the Camaro for the build. I think we're pretty good other than going through and now torquing all of the suspension components. We pretty much have brakes, suspension, and all that stuff. So now, what I think we're gonna do is throw the column in the car and everything up here so I can start working on the turbo kit. So if you guys wanna see me work on the turbo kit, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for me so this gets pushed out to new people, and we'll see you guys in the next video.